In other news, Damba has become a household name among the lineage of the late Nad Bewa, founder of the Great Dadman Empire. But what do you know about the Damba Festival? Well, in the following report, TV3's Northern Regional Correspondent Zubeida Ismail explores the essence of the much revered festival. <laughs> Damba Festival is widely celebrated by all descendants of Nagwewa, which the Mamprogo Kingdom has the bragging right as the senior brother of all such descendants, namely Dagbong and Nanu. As one of the daughters of the late overlord of Mamprogo, the Nairi Na Sheriga Abdullahi Mahami, Puana Hajia Aisha to Abdullahi Sheriga ascended to the skin of Samne in May 2018. It is a Saturday morning and the cold Hamatan winds are blowing across the ancient village of Samni, the community under the reign of a queen. Damba, as you rightly said, is very significant because it uh, marks it's a celebration for the birth of the prophet that has been turned into a cultural way of dancing to climax that. In her private life, the now Puana Aishetu was a farmer entrepreneur and gender advocate where she used her time and resources to raise train and mentor several young girls today is the fifth day of the entire celebration and the period that cameras are allowed so modamba the big day of all the seven days this is the first traditional celebration since she ascended to the samne skin and nothing can go wrong her kinsmen are up with every soul playing a role to have a memorable celebration. Tick tock, the time closes up on celebrants and each one's a perfect festival. Leila, the local hairdresser, has clients waiting and she cannot afford to disappoint any of them. To these young girls, the Somodamba celebration cannot be missed for anything and getting tidied up was a prerequisite. A day to showcase one's wardrobe to the world, and Leila and her friends cannot be left out. For having life to see a new year, and I have to get ready for the day. Some customers are not satisfied with others' breeding, so they have to wait even when I'm not around. The preparations do not end with just those seeking to look good. The chief warrior and his boys are also gearing up. Finally, the musketry is ready. <laughs> Back in the palace is Puana Aisha to Mahami. Tradition demands that a host feed her guests and Queen Aisha to must meet that demand. To the Islamic clerics, prayer is the most valuable gift. The traditional praise singers are not missing the golden opportunity to remind the queen of her history. One, two, the young and old make their way to her feet in her parlor, paying allegiance to her. The Nigerian writer Chino Achiba said, He who brings cola brings life, and her each visitor is offered cola as a sign of life. Finally, the owl who is not to be seen during the day steps out for the first time after her installation. She settles down and the show kicks starts. Various dance teams arrive at the forecourt of the palace. The real dancers, the magician, the warriors announce their arrival. I manage some few dancing steps. To the children of Puana, Aishetu, her first Damba celebration was an opportunity to redefine the festival. My mom, as I was growing up, I saw her to be somebody who is very lively, 
somebody who is always champion in the cause of women, somebody who likes to reduce the burden and suffering of people. And that is how she brought us up. Even though I am not formally part of the, uh, the, the traditional council, I still have a responsibility. I have to drive her vision. She cannot move easily. I have to use my network to drive her vision and look for support for her people so that the, the, the intention or the objective that she's looking for for her people comes into fruition. I saw that she was putting in some initiatives. She was adding value to the dancing of Damba. A seemingly elated queen tells me the reason behind her passion to empower women. Women in Samni cheerfully contributed their widow's might as seed capital to the foundation. The Puana Ayi Foundation will be run by a renowned development consultant, a retired director of the Ghana Audit Service, a retired accountant, and a management consultant and administrator. The public is invited to support the foundation. Zubaida Ismail, TV3 News, Samne.